Ja, dat is een stukje ooit zo. Je weet niet hoe de klas, dus als je ze wil, dan kan je dat doen. Want we geven ons onze leven en veel andere blessings. Oké. After all that, our topic today is indices. What is indices? It is the plural of index. The word in? Index. Okay? Index means something to power. Okay? So that is a power. Or what? A root in it. Root something. Okay? This is a very, very nice and famous topic. You need a lot of intelligence. You need to use your mind. You need to be steady. I don't think it's difficult at all. And it's a very exciting area to examine in the GCSC. So I want to look at it exhaustively. Okay? I don't want to rush. The only problem is we have only 30 minutes to do these things so that the video don't get that long. Because if the video gets that long, sometimes people get uh, a bit tired and you know. You know there are a lot of uh, students who don't like long, long videos. They want short videos to perhaps in a topic so that they can understand what's going on. <clears throat> now, index, it involves a lot of rules. If you master those rules, you can solve any indices problem. Okay? We have done standard form <coughs> before. Now, first of all, we all know this. When we say square, let's say x square. What we mean is x is multiplied by another yes. x in it. Don't be confused by, by that. This means multiply. Mm -hmm. Or this one means x. So I use y then. <coughs> When we say y square, we mean y times y. We have done this before. Mm -hmm. When we say y cube, we mean y times y times y. And on and on and on. Okay? This is the basic of it. Now, let's look at the rules. Okay. First of all, when I said x to power 0, always that will equal to 1. Meaning, anything to power 0 is equal to 1. one. Uh, x to power 1 will be x itself. Meaning, we multiply x by nothing. Okay, x by 1. That means x to power 1. one. Now, when we want to, when you x to power minus 1, that would be different. Anytime you say minus, know that it's a fraction. 1 over that thing. Okay? Whatever you see, minus, always, if you want to analyze it, it means 1 over, okay, 1 over x. Same thing, if I, if I say, let's say, uh, 5 to power 1 will be 5 in it. But 5 to power minus 1 will be 1 over 5. You see the difference? Yes. 5 to power 1 means 5 itself. But 5 to power 1 means 1 over 5. In the same way, when we say x square, x squared means x times x, isn't it? Mm -hmm. x squared means you multiply x, x you multiply by another x. Okay? I don't know whether I, I just did. But x to the power half is mean the square root of x. Mm -hmm. You see the difference? x square means x times x, but x to the power half mean square root of x. In the same way, if we said x to the power minus, sorry, x to the power 3, we mean x, okay, multiplied by another x, multiplied by another x. But x to the power minus 3, now, now that means, sorry, x to the power 1 over, it means the cube root of x in it. X to the power one third. X to the power half means square root of x. 
x over one one third mean cube root of x. x. This basic, 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 basic foundation. But the same then, if we put x to the power minus three, now where, wherever you see minus, always think the thing is down, isn't it? Yes. Isn't it? Yes. One over. Any any you say minus, always put one over that thing. But what about the three? It means for what you put your power three there. Because when we analyze this, it's the same thing as saying x to the power minus three is the same thing as x to the power one one x to the power minus one times one over three. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, times three mm -hmm. because minus one times three is minus three, three. Yeah. then you did mean actually means x to the power one one over y multiply that by three. Three, to the power three in it yeah. yes That's so yeah. if you if you if, if you if you cover the minus one okay what are you left with is x to the power three, three in it mm -hmm. if you if you cover the three you have minus one you have one over x in it Yes, this is how you analyze it. So x to the power minus 3 is 1 over x cubed. Same thing if you say x to the power minus 2, it means 1 over x squared. And on and on and on and on. Okay? <coughs> no, sir, that's what I hate. I'm teaching you, you are seeing it. Yes, m, um, n over m. The whole of that square is the same thing as n square over m square. You get it? Okay? So, now, look at this one. x to the power 2 over 3. You see, mm -hmm. the best way is to, for you to analyze this. Because this is something as 2 over 3, in mathematically, it means... 2 times 1 over 3, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So basically, this is, now let's, let, let, okay, that's wrong. This means x square times x to the power 1 over 3 also. So, x square will be x square. Mm -hmm. And one time means cube root of? 3. 3, isn't it? Yes. So you put your x square, which if you cover, you have that. Okay? Yeah. If you cover that square, you have x to the power 1 over 3. three. So x what uh, 1 over 3 is cube root of 3. three. So that's what, that's what, that's, so therefore, x to the power 2 over 3 is equal to cube root of x square. By the way, look at this. x, okay, if you have it like cube, hmm? mm -hmm. if you have it in bracket, this is something as saying x square times 3, which is x to the power 6. Mm -hmm. And the same way, x over 2, you will send it as x to the power 4 times half, yeah. which is x square. Yeah. It's just like saying Maybe it's the you are <laughs> multiplying x squared three times. x squared times x squared times x squared, which is x to the power six. You see, so instead of going like this, mathematically you just multiply what is inside. Oh, so yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole of that cube. Yeah. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Okay? Even if he said x Square one third out, same thing, same thing. This this multiply power whatever is in the bracket, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. This is the s power two over three. That's what I analyze here. How to do it? Yes. Now, as you get nastier, you have to analyze it. That's the only way to help you. As you get more and more upward, like x. Power minus 2 over 3. 
Now the minus is here now. Isn't it? Yeah. You can say this is when we keep this, we know 2 over 3 minus 2 times 1 over 3. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. This means x square. Okay? But minus 2 is also simply as minus 2 times 1 in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So when I say minus 2 or minus 1 or minus 1 times 2 in, it will be both ways. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I told you, whenever when you see minus, I will say this is x to the power minus 1 times 2 over 3. Okay? Mm. But it's the same thing to come to minus 2 over mm. 3 in it. So since I have seen x to the power minus already, I will always say that is 1 over x. Hmm? Yeah. Since I have seen minus 1, minus here, for the fact that there is minus, I know that is 1 over x. x. Like, if we put it that way, 5 to the power minus 2 over 3. Okay, instead of you, do some analysis. This is the same thing as x to the power minus 1 times 2 over 3. Now, since I see x to the power minus 1, I will say that is 1 over 5 already. I'll put the first part. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, I look at the top. If I put my hand here, I have x squared. 5 squared in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 5 square in it. Mm -hmm. right? That means 5 square. If I put my hand here, I'll, I, I, 2 over 3, I'm seeing 1 third there, isn't it? Yeah. Because 2 over, 2 over 3 is equal to 2 times 1 over 3, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Now, we, we look at this systematically because it can confuse you. First, I told you, because this is why, where, where you put negative here, many students, they get confused. Mm -hmm. Okay, 2 over 3, they can deal with that. But since you put negative here, they find it difficult to deal with that. Now, first of all, if I put my, if I put my, if I, let's say I pick this up, what do you see? 2 to the power minus? X to the power minus 2. X to the power minus? 2. 2 in it. Now, this is X to the power minus 2. Since I see minus, I know it is 1 over X, X in it. Yeah. And then square. I can also say this is x to the power minus 1 times 2 because x to the power 1 is 1 over x. Mm -hmm. Now, if I put my hand here, I, I can see x squared in it. Mm -hmm. Yes. If I take this off, what can I see? x, x squared in it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So x squared. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. X squared. <laughs> Are we not right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So now, we go back to our here. What is it? That is the main question. Since we know minus 2, what is minus 2? Yes? Now, 2 over 3, I can see 2 over 3 as minus 1 times 2 over 3. But 2 over 3 itself, I can see 2 times 1 over 3. Mm -hmm. Since we have dealt with the square part, that's here. 1 third would mean 2 root in it. Because we said x to the power 1 third yeah, means 2 root of x in it. Mm -hmm. Yes. It means 2 root of x. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah 2 root. Put it here, yeah, 2 root, yes. 2 root, yes. x to the power 1 third means 2 root of x. x. Okay? Now, if you have 2 root in this, because minus 2 we know is x squared, we have 2 root in that one. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, since it's, when we have x to the power 1 third, we say it's tube root of x in it. We put tube root of x here. Tube root, yes? So basically this, after all the analysis, is the same thing as 1 over tube root of x square. Mm -hmm. You guys see? Yeah. Yes. So let's see, let's see, we are going to do examples, okay? Let's say we have uh, 27 to the power 1 over 3 alone, okay? We will say this is the tube root of 27, mm -hmm. which is equal to 3 in it, okay? Now, imagine we said 27 to the power minus 3. We are saying that when we cover our mind, when, when we cover our 
our one third yes, we can see minus sign in it. Yeah. Minus sign in it, we put our mind that this is over 27 in it. Yeah. 1 over 27. So. Now we are left with only the, the two parts because we have left with the minus yes, okay. which is 1 over 8. Mm -hmm. What is left is the cube in it, the one third in it. Yeah. So one third will be cube root of 27. And basically that will be 1 over 9. Sorry, no, 1, one over 3. 1 over 3. three. 1 over 3. Imagine the same thing. This same damn thing that looks difficult. 27 to the power minus 2 over 3. Mm -hmm. Basically, this means 1. We have seen minus, so we said 1 over 27. Mm -hmm. We can see square. We, see, we put our square in it. Or we can see one third also because two over three means two times one over three then cube root or cube root i don't know how simple i can put this because some people will not joke with you know analyze it they tell you okay 27 <coughs> to power minus one third means one over cube root of 27 directly like that so you have to figure out how it happens. But if you analyze it, like 5 to the power minus 2, let's say. This is the same thing as saying 5 times minus 1 times 2. That's what we did, sorry. 5 to the power minus 1 times 2. Eh? 5 to the power 1, when we deal with that, we are going to 1 over 5, innit? Yeah. But the, what about the square? Hmm? Yeah. You mean the square of? Five. The same way if you have fraction, always when you have a fraction, analyze it. If you don't analyze it, you, you can make a mistake. Okay? 64. 64 to the power minus 1 will be how much? 1 over 64. Four in it. Mm -hmm. But 64 to the power minus half. Well, minus half alone is what? Square root in it. Yeah. Square root in it. Yeah. Square root of 64. Yeah. What about a minus? Of a minus will be 1 over in it. Yeah. Yes. What about square root of 4? Yeah. Now, immediately I put 3 here. Meaning 64 times minus 3 over 2 in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I put 3 in the top. Same thing. Same thing. Minus 1 over. Mm -hmm. Okay? 1 half square root. To power 3, this is to power 3. So therefore, you, you will see 64 to, power, 64 to power minus 3 over 2 as 64 minus 1 times 3 times half. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. hmm? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That will give you 3 over 2. Our 64 to power minus 1 we said is 1 over 60 for cube cube. Mm -hmm. For half means square root, isn't it? Square root. Mm -hmm. You get it? It's not difficult, you know? It's not difficult, you have to apply the principles. Principles. Now, so, suppose you have this. You take this out. That takes also a standard for minute. Okay? What does this mean? It means n to the power 3 divided by m to the power 2 in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it means. <coughs> but you know, mathematically, we can't sort this out because we don't know the variables. Mm -hmm. We can only sort it out if the bases are the same. That's what I said when, when we are in the standard form. Yes? Are the bases the same? Mm -hmm. Yes. If the bases are the same, then you have to. When it is multiplication, you have to add 
the, the, the indices yeah. in indexes yes? when it's a division you subtract it like this mm. 5 to the power 8 divided by 5 to the power 3 since the bases are the same we put our 5 here which is same and then we subtract the the top unit which is 5 to the power 5 if we say 5 to the power 3 times 5 to the power 2 since the bases are the same we are going to say 5 to the power 3 plus 2 which is 5 to the power 5 okay so if, if you are giving the indices that that's it yes now that will get difficult if we said n over m all to power half what do you think this means square root, hmm? square. Square root n over square root m yes it means n to the power half divided by m to the power half something as somebody tell you look that's what it means Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah, that's what it means. Square root of n over n. Because this means n half. We can never say 16 over 25. We can say this means what? 16 to the power half divided by 20, 25 to the power. Uh, it is 4 over 5 in it. Yeah, four yes. over five. We, we can sort this here straight away in it. Mm -hmm. Yes? We can say we got everything under the square root. Mm -hmm. uh, square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 5 is 25. 5. 5. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Same thing. No wonder. There's like, nothing magical here. It's all straightforward. It's application of the rules. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at the the, if you look at the, the exam style question, what is in the books? Because ultimately, is the exam what we are going to do. <coughs> okay. As I said, if, if there's anything that um, I left out, remind me. Okay. The book is saying this. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Minus 2 to the power 3. What do you think this is? Minus two. And it's also eh? minus two times minus two. Minus two times minus two times minus two. Two in it. Which is plus. Yes. Plus eight. So no. Minus eight. No. No. Oh, minus eight. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> minus exactly minus, minus eight. eight. This is one more minus eight. Exactly. Yeah. Now let's say it's a minus two times minus three. You know my, what we are doing is everything in the bracket thing. Yeah. Yes. Mm? Minus eight. And that's plus. That's plus. That's plus, that's plus, mm? plus four. Yeah. Four plus yeah. three squared. That's nine. This means seven, what? Seven, 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 seven. You have to multiply it out, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Minus two times minus two times minus two times minus three times minus three times minus three times minus three. Okay, this means minus 8 times 3 times 3, 7 times 3, 21, hmm? 21. 21 times 3, 81. 81. 81. No, no, no. So, 81, yes. 9 times 9. Yeah, so yeah. negative, negative, positive, negative, negative, positive. So it's 81. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you multiply that what? Uh, I'm not going to define that one. Mm -hmm. So that's what it all means. As that is in the same vein, you say n to the power m, you put n outside. What does it mean? And mm -hmm. time uh, say. Uh, uh, eight, eight, what was it? Yeah, it's a. I explained that to you, yes? Mm -hmm. This is a to the power m times oh, n no, in it. I'll, I'll, I'll show you yes, we have done that before, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Like when it says a b to the power n. What does this mean? A b is a times b. Yeah. Okay. A times b. b. N for all of them in it. Because n is multiplied everything inside. 
Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, we, we come to it. These small, small things, you can neglect them, but you can, they can appear in the exam and you get buffered. Okay? You say, oh, my teacher didn't do well. He didn't think it was easy. But what about yourself? What did you do? 3A old square. What does that mean? 3A times 3A. That's 3A times 3A. 2X over Y old Q. What does that mean? Okay. Three over x square y all that square and five x square y cube all that cube. Okay, so what was the name? The first one is 3a times 3a, mm -hmm. which is 9a squared. Mm -hmm. The second one 2X. is 2x to power 3 mm -hmm. over y to power 3. Mm -hmm. The third one mm -hmm. would be... Look at 3a is 3 times a yeah. all squared, yeah. which is 9a yeah. squared. Yeah. What about that one? That one is 2x to the power 3 over y to power This three. is 2 cube times two x, x cube yeah. over y, y cube. That's what I mean, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is what? 8 x cube yeah. over y cube, isn't it? Yeah. What about this one? That one would be 9. Three. This one, 3 square nine. all over x, x squared hmm? y times 3. Mm -hmm. yeah. y. y times 3. Yeah. Yeah, this is 9 over x power 5 y to power 3. 2, 2, 2, 2. Times 2. Hmm? 2. Y to power 2. 9. Yeah. X, x squared, remember? X squared times 2. It's correct. Because it's two outside. It's correct. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Outside the back is 2. Outside the back is 2. Yeah, because it's, it's, as, it's number 3. So oh, it, oh, it's oh, that times one. 3. Okay, okay. So okay, it okay, should be understand. times 2. Okay, so I understand. It should be x, x to power 4. Yeah. Yeah. So this means 5 q times x square times 3 yeah. times y cube times 3, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, what does that mean? That's it means 25. Sorry, sorry. No, yeah? 125. 125. Yeah, 125, yeah. Mm -hmm. And nice. x, x to power 6. Mm -hmm. And y to power 9. Right. Yes. <laughs> you guys see? Yeah. Is there any different in this? No. I need something very break. And during this short break, I put these small uh, um, um, equations um, just to teach you guys because we have done this. Although we didn't do it, um, we didn't show it in the video. Okay? Quickly, quickly. What do you think? Let's clean, your, let's clean your books. This is very, very simple. Okay? We have a bracket here. We have something here. We get rid of this three first. We get rid of this three in it. Okay? So by doing that, we are going to divide. Because this means three times. Okay? Mm -hmm. X minus two all square is equal to 15. In it. 15. 15. Sorry? So you buy both sides by three. Mm -hmm. So you have x minus 2 square is equal to 5, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, square. Mm. This means square, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> you can sort this out, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This means x square, mm -hmm. sorry, x minus 2 into x, x minus 2, two isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is equal to 5. x times x is x square, isn't it? Yes. x times minus 2 is minus 2x, two isn't it? Yes. Minus 2 times this is minus 2x, yes. isn't it? Minus 2 times minus 2 is 4, four. which is equal to five. 5. So we have x square minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 5 
he moved this over the equal sign. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have x co co move this over the equal sign. All the same unit. Yeah. Yeah. x square minus 4x plus 4 minus 5 is equal to 0. Mm -hmm. Our quadratic equation comes here. Mm -hmm. So x square minus 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we have to factorize that. We can't. Let's yes. Let's minus plus minus root of yeah, a square yeah. minus 4ac mm -hmm. all over 2a. We use quadratic formula. Mm -hmm. We can solve it out with that. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have done that <coughs> before. We don't want to go into that. Okay. Mm -hmm. We use quadratic to sort that one out. Simple, quickly. That one is the easiest. Yes. Mm -hmm. We move this over equal sign. Yes. Plus become minus 3. Mm -hmm. X is equal to 0. When we did that, what do we do? We factorize it. Yes. It's equal to zero, yes? Mm -hmm. Either x is equal to zero or x minus three x minus three x or x minus three is equal to zero. Okay? Here x is zero or x is equal to three. Now put three here. Put zero first. If zero square is zero square is zero three times zero zero. Put your three here. Three square is nine. 3 times 3? Nine. Nine. Are they not equal? Yes. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. It's so easy. Look at the ne next one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is already done for you, quadratic limit. Yes. Yeah. Either x is equal to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0. zero. Here, x is equal to 5, isn't it? Yeah. Either of you put there, you get 0, isn't it? Yeah. If you put 0 here, 0 times all this is yeah. 0. If you put 5 here, 5 minus 5, zero. 0 times x. Zero. Am I not right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about this one? Yeah. Oh, just move. Uh -huh. yeah, you two, you two x square here. Yeah. You move your one over equal sign in it. Yeah. You become 15 minus 1 in it. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. So your 2x square is equal to 14. Mm -hmm. X square is equal to 7. Yeah. How will I get 7? Because you, you divide by 2. Divide, divide both sides by 2, two in it. Yeah. So x is what? Square root of seven. Seven, seven in it. Yeah. Yes. Square root of yeah, seven. We never answer the calculator. Yes. No, you don't, you don't have to find that. Yeah. No, no, no. They don't expect you to do that. You don't even search for me. Mm -mm. When you see something like that, they, don't, they don't expect you to do that. Yeah. This is the easiest, isn't it? Yeah. Okay? Move this over to one sign. We have x square is equal to seven minus three. Yeah. X square is equal to four. X is equal to what? Two. No. Square, square root of 4. Square root of 4, isn't it? Yeah. What is square root of 4? Yeah. X equals 2. No. Plus or minus 2, yeah. Plus or minus 2. Yeah. two. Because minus 2 square is? 4. 4. Okay? Now we have to wrap it because this is become 30 minutes, yes? Yeah. It's more than, it's more than 30 minutes, so we have to wrap our indices for the first part of indices. Yeah. Yeah. After that, we will do advanced indices, okay? Advanced indices. Now, trick, a trick, a trick. A trick they can give you. Look at this. N over M. O X over Y. Now if I tell you all this or half. Okay. You easily know that this means the square root of N over square root of M. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now assuming I put my, uh, all this now minus or oh, first let's first put don't put, don't put uh wow look at that look at that that's not good can I use the uh, oh, right. suppose I put minus one here what do you guys think yes. now it becomes mm -hmm. Hmm? Yes. Now it becomes a bit tricky. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> look at this. What? what you apply here, mm -hmm. you apply the same principle. The difference yeah. you look at though, x minus 1 over x. y to the power minus 1. Yeah. 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 You said right here. Yeah. What is what x to the power minus 1? 1, one, one, one over x. x. What is y to the power minus 1? 1 over y. One over y. Why? Why does it sound? What does it 
you, do, you are you to divide and you have to do reciprocally. Reciprocal. Because when we divide yeah. fraction, what do we do? Yes. If I say 2 over 3, divide by, let's say, is 1, yes? Divide by 4 over 9. What I 